getting out my notes. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk about mine and Tucker's first year at West Point. Well, his first year, but it's part of like our journey too. Like I've been involved every year. So I consider it like our, like I share <laughs> in the experience. Um, but I have sat down to film this video. This will be time number three. And I have yet to get through it, but we're gonna we're gonna change that today. We're gonna get through it. I'm gonna get this video up and out there. So plebe year, plebe year is the same thing as freshman year, but at West Point they call it plebe year. It's the hardest year. They have more restrictions. They have less freedoms. They are not able to stay off post very much. I think they're only allowed one maybe two passes and a pass is where they are allowed to go off post and stay the night off post for a weekend um they have to be in class every day but that's just a west Point policy in general like they have to be in class unless they're sick we met the summer right before he went into west point we knew each other for a little less than a month before he left for training and we were only officially dating for about two weeks before he left and that training consisted of six weeks of not being able to talk on the phone because they like a shortened version of basic training and so we didn't get to talk he got three phone calls two which were 10 minutes and they took a day in the middle of beast and they were allowed to have their phones for essentially the whole day it was called an ice cream social they got to have ice cream with their sponsors and they got to talk to their family and update everyone back home so i knew nothing about west point knew nothing about the experience i didn't know what to expect when he left for training i really thought i was only going to get to see him on the major holidays so like thanksgiving christmas and then he'd come home in the summer not the case so when he left we said goodbye, we didn't talk regularly for six weeks. We wrote letters. I wrote letters every day and he wrote back when he was able to. He kept up very well, but there, there would be long periods where the mail wouldn't run. I wouldn't get a letter for a few days. And then there were days where he wouldn't get letters for a few days either. And then he'd get like five or six at once. So towards the end of Beast, they got their final phone call and I happened to be at the lake near my home and I missed the call. I didn't have service and I missed his call and I felt horrible. And then came A Day, which was this acceptance ceremony where they got accepted into West Point and they were no longer considered new cadets, they were just cadets. And the ceremony took place on a Saturday. We got there on Friday. I got to see him after the ceremony on Friday and then we got to take him to get pizza. He wasn't he didn't take he wasn't allowed to take pass. We took him back to post on Saturday night. And then Sunday his mom went and picked him up at like 5 a.m. and we spent all day together until he had to go back for for formation that night. And there was a point that afternoon, I guess, we were just down at, a, at the car getting everything packed up, all of his snacks and supplies and school stuff, everything that he would need for school at West Point and there was a point where it just it hit me it was like you made it through these six weeks but the distance was not over the distance was just beginning and it was a sinking feeling in my stomach where I just I knew the process was going to be long and that I was just along for the ride and there wasn't a single thing I could do about it but that moment passed um when I had to remind myself to enjoy the time that I was having with him. Like we were together at that moment and regardless of what happened in the next couple hours. But that did pass and we did have to say goodbye again. But we only said goodbye for about 
two or three weeks because then it was Labor Day and he was able to take pass for the first time and he came home and we just spent the weekend together. We went to the lake and he enjoyed some time with his family and we just had a really good time. It was nice to have him home again at a place where we were used to. Though it's a three day weekend, he still has to be back on Monday. We got him home late Friday, we had all day Saturday and Sunday and then he had to leave on Monday morning. He left really early Monday morning so he could be back at school and to get ready for the school week. So that was Labor Day weekend and then a few weeks later was Columbus Day and he was able to take pass then too. We all went up there, me and his mom and dad and I believe his oldest brother was there too. So we went there and we spent the weekend there. We had a great time and then came Thanksgiving. So Columbus Day is the first, might be this, I think it's the second weekend of October and then Thanksgiving is like the fourth Thursday or something in, in November. So that was a long stretch. It was about seven weeks. We missed each other a lot, but um, Columbus Day is still my, fa my favorite weekend. And then was the Army football game. By far, one of the coolest experiences that I have had along the West Point um, journey is being able to go to the Army football game twice. It's so cool. The president is there and the whole core, the whole West Point core goes and the whole core of the Naval Academy is also there. And it's such a big rival. It's just a huge game that is built up to every year. They spend their whole season practicing to get better to beat Navy. And, but at the end of the day, they are all fighting for the same team. And that's one of the really cool things about the Army-Navy game. It's really cold because it's always held up north in early December, so it's freezing. So cold. Um, and then comes Christmas and they get two weeks home for Christmas. They're home through New Year's and then they're usually back at school the first weekday, the first day after New Year's. So he comes home for Christmas and they, depending on their finals schedule, is when, is how early they get to come home. And that year I think his final might have been on like the last possible day. But we, we did get two weeks together, which was the longest, it's the longest consecutive time that you will get with your cadet the entire academic year. You get a week for spring break and two weeks for Christmas. And then we were planning to see each other for Martin Luther King Day in January, but at West Point, they always have a dinner for Christmas and they they got a little wild. It's not uncommon for them to have a food fight in the mess hall for the night of Christmas dinner. But this year, I think, it was either bread or mashed potatoes that got stuck to the ceiling and printers ended up thrown out of the barrack windows and it was just a big deal. The core was in a lot of trouble. So they were still able to take pass if they wanted to, but they weren't able to leave until Saturday. And if he, and if for us, if he's not able to leave until Saturday, we get him home Saturday afternoon. We get all day Sunday and then he's sleep on Monday. So it's kind it kind of stinks. We didn't get to have, the holiday so it's they didn't take it away they made it to where it was really hard to have that weekend just as a punishment for the cadets and then came president's day so president's day he came home and he took his second pass of the semester and he just came home and then there was a thing called plea parent weekend it is the weekend right before spring break and it's where families and significant others can come onto post and they're allowed in cadet area and they get to see the cadets rooms and they're allowed in the mess hall. And um, it's just a big celebration. They have a banquet to celebrate the accomplishments of the plebes this far. And so that was a lot of fun. We got to get dressed up for the first West Point event. And then we got to bring him home with us um, from West Point. So that was pretty fun and I definitely enjoyed leaving West Point and not leaving him there. That was, that was pretty cool. And then came spring break. So he was home for the following week after plea parent weekend. And we just spent our time hiking and enjoying time here. And then we went up again for his birthday. He did not take pass. His birthday was on, I think a Monday. It was either on a Sunday or a Monday that year. So we went up and we just spent I think it was just Saturday and Sunday with him because it was just a regular weekend and he didn't maybe actually I think he did take pass that weekend because like I said they get two passes each semester 
called free passes and then if they get a third they have to have earned it so he earned another pass and then after that we went up for a baseball game in the first weekend of April. His brother was a firstie when Tucker was a plebe, so his brother was a senior when Tucker was a freshman at West Point. So we went up for a baseball game. Um, his parents got to watch his brother play some baseball, and Tucker and I just spent some time around post and just spent some time together. So we got to see each other again. So honestly, the first year time-wise, we got to spend a significant amount of time considering what's average um which was really good i was really thankful and i didn't take it for granted that we had such because the first year is so hard it's hard for the cadet and it, i know it was definitely hard for me on our very very new relationship spending a lot of time apart when we were trying to still get to know each other and um think about the future together but that was pretty much the first one first academic year and then came summer training so after graduation like it just depends on what their training schedule looked like. Tucker got to come home for six, five or six weeks right after graduation, which was amazing. That is so much time that we got to spend together. And then he went to training for four or five weeks. And then we got to go up to West Point for a thing called Camp Illumination. It's just an event where the plebes, they get promoted. They get promoted from a private to a corporal, private to a corporal in West Point rankings so they go through the training at Buckner that summer and then at the end of the training there's a big ceremony and the parents a lot of parents come significant others come and we get to watch them get promoted the night before that they are promoted from private to corporal is the camp illumination banquet I guess you'd call it kind of um it's just essentially it's a dance with some snacks and it's out at Buckner which is really cool because that's one of the only times that we've been to Buckner was for that event which was a lot of fun you got to wear like short formal dresses and it's outside and it's just a lot of fun after the event and after the promotion ceremony the next day we brought him home oh actually we got to bring him home twice I guess yeah twice so we've done it two times and we got to bring him home and uh, that's where I'm gonna end plebe year because after that we just spent some time home and then he got ready to go back to school for yuck year but we'll talk about yuck year in a different video I hope that um, if you're watching this or you found this video that it helps you to kind of understand what the first year at West Point is like for cadets from a outsider's perspective from a significant other perspective but yeah I'm gonna talk about each year in another video. I'm gonna scratch this part, forget it.